Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a new feature that I wanted to demonstrate today. And this involves the GeoVision license plate recognition cameras and the VMS software. Users do now have the ability to display the recognized license plate recognition data within the VMS software in both the live view as well as showing it on the recorded footage. On the screen right now, you can see a vehicle that has passed by the license plate recognition camera. And on the AS Manager side, it has done the recognition. And what you can do is you can have that data print out on top of your video, your live feed. And then in turn, it will be recorded into the VMS software as well. You can see that down here in the bottom left-hand corner. It does give you the ability to customize where you display the text, what size the text is, and also what color it is. So for this video, I would like to just show the steps that are involved in getting this to work. If you find the videos on this content channel useful, please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up because it really does help the exposure of the videos. All right, so just jumping in here, we already have this set up on our system, but I do want to show the steps that you need to take in order to make it work. And you are going to need to have both the VMS software and the AS Manager software running. If you are utilizing the gv LPR 2800 DL camera. You do not need any additional licensing for it uh, because that camera has the license plate recognition engine built into the camera. But if you're using one of our license plate capture series cameras like the GV-LPC2211, for example, that will require the LPR dongle that gets plugged into the VMS machine. So I will be bouncing back and forth between the two systems. And we are first going to start over on the AS Manager side. So if I go into AS Manager, you'll want to first go to Setup and Devices. And you'll first come to this section right here, Camera Text Overlay. You want to make sure that you click on that and choose LPR. Now, by default, you won't have this option right here. It'll be set to something else where you'll have more text. What you will want to do is you'll want to locate the option that says license plate. It is this little option right here. It's a tiny license plate with a little eye icon. If you click on that, it will populate this small percentage sign in the, number, the letter N. Once you do that, just go ahead and hit OK. Now, after that, if you haven't already added in your license plate recognition camera, now is the time to do that. And there are a couple methods of how you can. You can either use the manual add, which is the plus sign, or you can use the search. So I'll simulate that. If I go ahead and hit the manual add, I would choose LPR. And you want to make sure that you're using PC LPR. And of course, you will need to have already added the camera into the VMS software and have it recording and, and all set up over there first. And then you would want to come over here and you'll want to add it as a PC LPR. Now, once you hit OK and input all of your data, you'll do your normal configuration up here, um, just like you, you'd enable the monitoring and you'd highlight your zone. We're going to go to our camera here that we already have set up. It's a LPR 2800-DL camera, and we also have an LPC 2211. So I already have both of these cameras imported into my VMS software, and I've added them into the AS Manager program. So if you click on lane one, uh, this is where I was talking about. You can highlight your zones where it will do your license plate recognition detection. For example, if you want to get rid of an area, you can click the minus, and then you can just basically highlight it. And anything that moves in that area, it will ignore for recognition. So you'll want to get your zone set. You also want to make sure you click on this text overlay button right here uh, to enable it and turn it blue. And then you'll choose your recognition camera. Okay, so it's either going to be you know camera one or camera two. And whenever you click on it, it's going to then associate that camera and it will pull the text overlay from it. Now, if you have a second camera that you also want to have the text overlay, make sure that you go to lane two, hit monitor, click the T text overlay icon and then select that camera. And then of course you would hit okay on this screen. I'm going to just hit cancel because we already have this set up, but you would hit okay to save your settings. 
Now, once you do that, you will want to return to the VMS software and you'll go to your live view. You will then click the toolbar icon and then you'll go to configure and video process. Once you click on video process and bring it up, click the drop down menu and you'll be looking for text overlay setting towards the bottom. Click on that and then select the cameras that you are interested in applying this to. So in our scenario, we have two cameras. You will then hit setting. Once this window comes up, you will want to click on the drop down, and you're going to choose print AS Manager text on screen. So once you have that selected, hit enable, and you can hit the little green hand icon and it will apply that setting to both of the cameras or however many cameras you have selected. You do also have the option here of choosing where on the camera's view you want to print that data. And then lastly, if you hit set font, this gives you the ability to customize both the font style, the font uh, color, as well as size, and if you want to do any bold or italics or anything like that. But once you hit OK here, and then OK on the previous screen, it will put that into effect once you hit OK right here. And it will give you the ability to then start overlaying that text data on both your live view as well as your recorded footage. This has been a demo tutorial on how to print text overlay on top of the video within the VMS software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.